This is the feast of all saints. And in the introit we read, Let us all rejoice in the Lord, celebrating the festival day in honor of all the saints, at whose solemnity the angels rejoice and give praise to the Son of God. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Ghost, who was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer of the Church Almighty and everlasting God, it has been granted to us to celebrate on this one feast the merits of all thy saints. We pray that through this great host of our intercessors, thou would pour out on us the longed for abundance of thy mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Epistle is taken from Apocalypse. And I saw another angel descending, ascending from the rising of the sun, having the sign of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, till we sign the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them that were signed, and 144,000 were signed of every tribe of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Aser, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Nephali, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Zabulon, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 signs. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 signs. After this I saw a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and in sight of the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, who sitteth upon the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and the ancients the four living creatures. And they fell down before the throne upon their faces, and adored God, saying, Amen, benediction, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. We are called to be this great multitude of, from all tribes and nations and peoples. <coughs> the white robes are the sign of our baptismal innocence. We either preserve this from baptism to death or restore through penance here or in the next life in purgatory. We hold palms to honor Jesus Christ our King whose feast we observed last Sunday. Let us not be fickle like those on the first Palm Sunday, who honored Jesus as King on Sunday and called out, Crucify Him, Crucify Him, on the next Friday. No, let us honor our King in word and in deed, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Please stand for the Gospel. And the Gospel is taken from St. Matthew. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and he was set down his disciples came unto him. And opening his mouth, he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when they shall revile you and persecute you and speak all that is evil against you untruly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets that were before you. Please be seated. We can see in the Beatitudes the road to heaven. This is the road taken by the saints whose feast we are celebrating today. St. Augustine relates the Beatitudes to the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. St. Augustine says, The fear of God corresponds to the humble, of whom it is here said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. That is, those not puffed up, not proud, to whom the Apostle says, Be not high-minded, but fear. That is, be not lifted up. When we realize just who and what we are in comparison to Almighty God, then we truly understand that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Of this, St. Augustine says, Piety corresponds to the meek, for he who inquires piously honors Holy Scripture and does not censure what he does not yet understand, and on this account does not offer resistance, and this is to be meek, 
whence it is here said, Blessed are the meek. Let us be pious and surrender ourselves in full acceptance to the doctrines of Jesus Christ, as taught to us by his holy church, which shall last until the end of time. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. St. Augustine says, Knowledge befits the mourner, who has discovered that he has been mastered by the evil which he coveted, as though it were good. And looking back at the examination of conscience we have just made, don't we realize that we have sinned? Haven't we sought for good what is truly evil? Shouldn't we mourn for this foolishness? Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. St. Augustine says, Fortitude becomes a hungry and thirsty, since those who desire to enjoy true goods and wish to avoid loving earthly and material things must toil. In seeking true justice, we need fortitude to resist the evil suggestions of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. St. Augustine tells us, Counsel is befitting the merciful, because the one remedy is to be delivered from evils so great, to pardon and to give. Counsel directs mercy and the works of mercy, both spiritual and corporal. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. St. Augustine says, The sixth work of the Holy Ghost, which is understanding, is applicable to the clean of heart, whose eye being purified, they can see what I have not seen. Purity of heart is necessary to truly understand, which is why we purify our hearts in order to understand heavenly things. <clears throat> Recall that the spiritual man can only can understand these things, as St. Paul reminds us. <clears throat> Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. St. Augustine tells us, Wisdom is becoming the peacemakers, in whom there is no movement of rebellion, but only obedience to reason. And St. Thomas Aquinas expands on this. Now a peacemaker is one who makes peace, either in himself or in others. In both cases, this is the result of setting in due order those things in which peace is established. For according to St. Augustine, peace is the tranquility of order. Peace is not merely the absence of resistance, as the communists would have us believe, but tranquility of order, that is, all things in obedience to the holy will of Almighty God. And let us consider the conclusion. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the King of Heaven. Blessed are ye when they shall revile you and persecute you and speak all that is evil against you untruly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets that were before you. The world has always spoken evil of the truly spiritual fathers of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us accept this and rejoice. And before we conclude our instruction, let us consider the many indulgences available beginning tomorrow for the poor forgotten souls in purgatory. On each of the next eight days, starting tomorrow, we can gain a plenary indulgence applicable to the poor souls in purgatory by visiting a cemetery and saying any prayers there, vocal or mental. And let us recall especially our family and friends who are in purgatory and remember them in the following eight days. And let us offer up prayers for these poor forgotten souls who have so few to pray for them in these days. Amen.